Uh, you, you raised the question just now of Labour MPs deciding in their consciences to vote for Theresa May's deal in whatever form it eventually comes back. What about a free vote of all MPs in that case? Shouldn't Labour, uh, Tory MPs also be allowed a free vote? Well, that's not something that we have considered. I have to say personally, um, I wouldn't have a huge problem with Parliament as a whole having a say um, on what the options were, because it wasn't the government that was given an instruction by the referendum. It was Parliament. It was Parliament. So, so Parliament said in that referendum, we can't make a decision. We are going to, on this particular area, we're going to subcontract our sovereignty to the people. And they gave us an instruction. Well, that's it's very, time Parliament carried it out. So that's very interesting, because if the Conservatives said, you know, on our side we think it's for all of Parliament and it's going to be a free vote, it's much harder for the opposition parties then to whip. So the suggestion that all of Parliament would vote on a free vote on this is, is a new one, but not a, an, an uninteresting one. And not one that, to be frank, Cabinet has discussed yet. Um, but I think that, busy Monday. But I think when you look at the options that we have, yeah. we've got to recognise that there are, as you said, a limited number of real-world options here. No Brexit, which would be a betrayal of the voters, no. and I think an affront to our democratic process, and a dangerous one. Secondly, the deal that the Prime Minister has negotiated, if we can get it into a shape MPs are happy with, or no Brexit. There are no other options there.